Pulling trucks every day sounds hard. I'm very strong. Strong diesels like me don't need to worry. Okay, I'll just get going, I guess. And he pulled away. Hmm, maybe I should get going too. Oh, hey, Dirk. Hey, David. Still recovering from that accident yesterday? I don't need to be reminded of that. Okay, yeah, yeah, but I gotta get going, so bye. I did tell him about something. Didn't the skinny controller tell me something about new job? Like, phone and stuff? Yeah. yeah. Later that day, Derek went back to the sheds. Hey, Arthur, weren't you just out a few seconds ago? Yeah. But I gotta, I had to go back because I'm still recovering from that accident I had a couple years ago. Uh, yeah, now I remember that crash, but <sighs> I don't think I can really do anything about it. Then the two engines both went to sleep. The next morning, Derek woke up early and went to work. Hmm, why do I even try? Why do I even try to do my new jobs? Like, is it even important? Wait, what's that on the track? No! Ouch. Well, well, well. Look who fell over this time. Ugh, I had enough of your top foolery, David. It's not top foolery, but, but, you need to listen to this. Listen to what? You, you got, you got to pay attention to every little thing you do. Every little thing is coming at you. It's coming at you like a bow and arrow. What? It's the truth. But, I gotta get going. Bye, dude. Wait! Aren't you gonna get somebody to help me up? Oh. Yeah. You make me sick. Just close your eyes and go to bed, Derek. And the two engines fall asleep.